On the table today at Squirrel Stampede Mini Brands, back on the table, this time with Mini Brands books. And there's something for everyone in there. This is an all ages type of collectible as we've got books for pretty much a full library in series one. And they have been hot. It has been hard to find these. I think they appeared about a month or two ago and always out. And then I finally found a shelf displayer with a few bought five surprise balls here to look at and see so I know, right, it's summertime, you're like, books? A book review? Squirrel Stampede? I'm out of school, I'm off the job for the summer, I've got, I'm out on vacation, and now we're doing books? In the summertime? Ugh. 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 Sorry about that. It's a book review from Zuru Mini Brands Books, but it's a really hot collectible and it's really fun. But we do have a Shakespeare spawner. Why, why did I get that Shakespeare spawner? I was under the library at the Stronghold, I took the spawner back and now we have Shakespeare all over the table. Come on, uh, there's there's hundreds of them. Shakespeare, go away, go. Uh, ah. So follow along as we open up a few five surprise books, see what we can find, what we can learn. Read with tiny, tiny magnifying glasses. Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, and squirrel live. Okay, let's, let's roll in our first ball here. Thank you, Suko. These things are pretty pop right now. Really difficult to locate these. I finally found them on an end cap at a Walmart. Uh, I only picked up five because I didn't want to clear them out. Came back a few days later, they were cleared out. So these books are flying off the shelves. Oh, I hate these secondary UPCs they've been putting on them. Bad enough we have two pull tabs sometimes. And we continue on with the current Zuru Mini Brands uh, ball uh, for most of their items. I don't mind them from the old orange wedges. Those took a lot of work and effort. Is it really only four surprise now and then maybe the fifth surprise is your guide? That's kind of a bummer. Not only are they way more than $5, they are actually, what, $8? You only get four? Four books maybe? It feels really thick. Small, small. What is that, like magazine? Well, we go with thick first. Will this be like Webster's Dictionary? And, and, oh, oh gosh. It's, it's a bookshelf maybe? I already started with a bookshelf. That actually might be the best thing to start with. Let's get this constructed up. Ah, it's a bookshelf. Well, that's probably the most exciting thing we've ever seen at Squirrel Stampede, building a bookshelf. But I do love bookshelves. Which reminds me, I was so much concentrated on books, I forgot about the bookshelves. There's just something about bookshelves. Welcome to the club, bookshelves. Well, can we finally open up an actual book, right? Okay, how many books out of all of these today will Squirrel Stampede have read? Rated. Redded? Hmm. Book one, Dogman. I've actually read Dogman. Dave Pilkey, excellent. Look at that. And they should have readable pages, they say. Ooh, this one does not. This is invisible pages. Maybe I have to get some invisible ink, but look at the back here. Look at the fine detail. I mean, if this is not an exact match to uh, Dogman number one, probably, yeah. Uh, I don't know what is. So yes, indeed, I've actually read one of these books. I was worried it was going to be one of these things where I was like, ooh, I'm unlearned. I'm unlearned. Okay, what do we got in here? What do we got for our next book? Oh, this is an oldie, Goosebumps. Night of the Living Dummy. Oh, R.L. Stein. No, I, you know, I never read the Goosebump books. I remember maybe watching the show a little bit, but I think I was a little bit after the Goosebumps craze. This one has readable pages, or so they say. Oh my, oh my, wow. Can we get in there? Can we get even try, I don't know. Almost looks readable, but I, I don't think that is. I, uh, I don't know, we'll have to get really close, but I can't tell. It looks like some sort of strange, strange scribbles. And I hate to overbend these two, trying to look at the fine print, because the more you do, the more stress you're gonna place on the spine, the mini spine. So, a good find, we'll place that onto our bookshelf. Glad we pulled a bookshelf first, that is so handy. All right, our third and final book of uh, ball number one. Only three books, maybe four, I don't know. And we get, we get, what is the Babysitter's Club? Back in the day, my sister read these, I recall. Uh, she went through these pretty well. 
by Ann M. Martin, what does that say? Christy's big idea? Oh, what's her idea? I gotta know, I gotta know. Uh, well, <laughs> gonna have to get out the binocular, monocular microscopes to read this, as that is some really tough reading. I don't know, Shakespeare. You could read the back, back info a little bit better. This will be a good book for the uh, grocery store. So I kind of skipped over the guide. What are we searching for here? What is in the book series? Legendary Night of the Living Mummy. Wait, what? Did, did we pull Legendary right from the start? That just can't be. That just can't. Not, not on the first ball. This must be Glow, right? Night of the Living Dummy. It does look a little bit different on there. Well, well, let's continue on. We'll see. So iconic Stranger Things when worlds flip upside down. Luxury. There's one of the dog man. So, wow, that was a really good ball to start. Then we go to Ultra Rare with like the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. Alice in Wonderland. Oh, good deal. There's some classics in here. Black Beauty and Christmas Carol. Those are in Ultra Rare. Now we're going down to Rare. Clueless? What, there was an official book for Clueless? I did not know that. Um, Hollow City? We're getting into books I've never heard of before. <laughs> All I know is a Cat Kid and Dog Man, right? And Babysitter's Club. Oh, Banicula! I can recall that one. And now we go to Common. It starts with us, Colleen Hoover. It reminders of him. How did those get thrown in there? I, I don't even know them, honestly. Raw Doll Books? Those are classic and will be fun to look for. More Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Uh, goosebumps down below, the haunted mask. So a few more. Okay, so there is what I got. Goosebumps, the night of the mummy. That matches more to what I have. I, I knew that was not going to happen. A legendary right off the start, and uh, some vampire diary stuff. And uh, then bookmarks are those bookmarks plus the shelf we got, which I'm glad we pulled that first. It's going to help out a lot. And a magnifying glass. That's going to help out a lot. So again, I believe this legendary Night of the Living Mummy must be a glow book. It has this glowy look to it, and this one is definitely not. But I did pull this luxury hardbound. I should call, I should point these out. Some of these are hardbound. It's the Dogman book there. So, so far, I've only read one out of those three books. Okay, for our next ball, let's see how our luck goes around with this ball. Four more packs, maybe, maybe another bookshelf, we'll see. I'm probably going to only need one bookshelf for the collection, really. I mean, that's going to fill up fairly easy, but there are two bookshelf designs. And this one is the same design. Well, at least if I get more of these, maybe I will need two bookshelves. We'll just pull this aside for now. And what do we have in this bag? Clueless, no way. So there was a book adaptation to the movie Clueless. This is so like random to me that they threw this in here. There's the, the real print. It's so random that this is in here. Maybe it, you know, I feel like this would show up in like series three or something, uh, but maybe that's like Clueless 2. <laughs> kind of glad I pulled it because it is so bizarre. All right. Oh, oh, not only did we pull our second Goosebumps book with the Haunted Mask, this is really cool. I'm glad we have both Goosebumps going. We also pulled a bookmark, which makes me want to look at past bags already. I, I don't know if I've missed a bookmark, so be careful. These bookmarks are tiny. Uh, you'll want to not throw those away. They could easily be in a package. So I believe that was your classic Mini Brands logoed uh, bookmark there in white. And a look at there, discarded from probably the first ball is the purple Mini Brands bookmark. That's kind of sad. That's probably what they intended the uh, fifth item to be. Uh, it's cool, but yeah. yeah. I'm glad at least I didn't throw it away. And um, there's another book here. Oh, hey, a magnifying glass. That's cool, we, we got a magnifying glass to help us out, and it's actually, it's actually pretty fancy. It's a fancy glass. And the book that we pulled was, oh good, a Ronald Dahl, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There we go. If there was a popular big ticket book to pull, I would want to pull this uh, out of the tops here. I've, I've read this one, yeah, I've, no, have I? I've seen the movie like 50 times, but um, I don't think I've read the book. Ouch, I, I need to read more, apparently. Well, that is awesome. The Golden Ticket. 
And what else is in here? Oh, this might just be like a choking hazard warning. Oh no. <laughs> Instructions on how to use the magnifying glass. Do not use the magnifying glass under the direct sunlight or any hard light to avoid eye strain. Do not playing with for a long time. Well, how am I supposed to burn those ants that are coming out out of our new rock garden? <laughs> well, I would do that. <laughs> Never. So the magnifying glass here. I, I mean, I, I, oh, there's actually illustrations in this one. Way cool. Um, is that helping out at all? Oh gosh, the illustrations of these old books were so awesome. And let's test out a fine print. Can we test out a fine print? I don't know. I think the, the written word is actually in there, but it would be so eye straining. Um, you gotta, you gotta be down with, uh, figuring that out. So what do you say? Can you actually read? Are you reading those lines? I'll have to spend some time in the bathroom and really, really flush these out. I'm definitely getting the hype with these over some of the other interesting mini brand stuff that has appeared, such as mini brands retro, which we will open today too. Got that extra ball or say mini brands sneakers, which I, I just passed on those. Although Optimus Prime could use a new pair of shoes. Ow. Gosh, these are lethal to the fingernail under the fingernail. Well, this is a definite series for Squirrel Stampede. More bookshelves. <laughs> it's another box of bookshelves. I, I want to find the Tallboy bookshelves. Um, and I don't think that's it, but maybe I'm reading this wrong. You know what? I read this wrong. The bookshelves are stackable. That's what's going on. Ah, okay, if you remove the top layer of your bookshelf and then stack, you can build a larger bookshelf. That's pretty cool. I like that, but this is my third bookshelf. I'm gonna have way more shelves than books. So I kind of, I hope that in the future, the last two here will actually get like four books, right? So there's no need to really expand my bookshelf just yet, but maybe towards the end we will. So there's three bags. Let's try our best not to lose the uh, bookmark. I think the bookmark is like gonna happen every time. Honestly, I think the magnifying glass should come every time too. Honestly, it's so small. Hey, Ronald Dahl BFG, the BFG. So this one I never read, but had it read to me through like school or something. Uh, so I remember this one long time ago. I'm glad they've added in several Ronald Dahl classics. All right, so yeah, I would love Michael Crichton to appear in this series. Ooh, a hardbound. So Diary of the Wimpy Knight, Wimpy Kid, I, I totally bungled that. The Diary, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, a blue bookmark. It's actually just a common, but I feel like the hardbound book uh, minis are a little more quality. So I will, I like this one quite a bit. Never read Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but I did draw. I did draw very similar stuff back in the day. I think you guys all recall my Farmer Brown series and maybe Walk in the Park. I really should get some of that published on Amazon. Kind of the same thing, writing, writing drawing stories on lined paper. I always felt like, wow, we were very similar people. So that is a good find. Plus we found the little blue, little blue mini brand bookmark. It's, it's already kind of got a little fold mark, but looking good. I like that one. That's a good find. Getting books mixed up here. Uh, any more, there's one more book in this? Yeah, one more book here. So after this, I should have nine books. Goosebumps, The Haunted Mask, our first repeat. That's why I'm kind of now only picking up about five uh, of the branded uh, Zuru Ball stuff because I just don't want to have too many repeats. I think once you get past five, it's like, okay, we had our fun. That's why I picked up five today. Okay, nine books collected so far. Let's open one, how it would appear on, say, YouTube Shorts or TikTok. Okay, that was fun and very messy. I'm having so much fun with the shorts TikTok version of recording lately, just with sounds and funny actions. So if you see that video pop up somewhere, please give a comment there that you're like, I saw the full video. How cool am I? And how cool are you? Or 
Who, who's cool? Squirrels are cool, right? So, real quick, what did I pull? That pack was way more serious than what we had pulled earlier with like the Vampire Diaries by LJ Smith. And this one, I could actually almost make out the text. So I do believe this is readable text uh, from the books, which is absolutely crazy. I was able to make out the word the and a few other things. So I think if you really have good eyes, which my eyes are going bad lately, you're gonna be able to read this book. Uh, but take your time. Maybe get something more large in magnifying world. And then what else? We found a hardbound of Library of Souls. It just makes me laugh the variety here. And I have a feeling as this series takes off, there's definitely going to be a series two and three. I mean, the way these have been so popular, I bet you we're going to see a lot more adult themed books as this goes along. Uh, as I think adult collectors are going to be way more into this than kid collectors because of just the whole library. Let's build a library, a miniature library theme. And so we're gonna see, we're gonna see a lot more uh, a variety of books. And then uh, Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. What, what is this even about? So that was a good trio of looking like more serious booking. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover, of course. And there was a, a red bookmark in there too. So that was a fun one to go through. I got one more left. Although before we do one more, shall we roll in the Mini Brands Retro? Why not? There's a Mini Brands Retro going out too. Is it me though? Or is it just too much lately? Like you go down the Mini Brands ball aisle, the Mini Universe stuff, and as fun as it is, it's kind of like, oh my gosh. And I believe it's all fueled by adult collectors more so than, more so than kids. I guess it's it's an every age type of thing. It's miniature collecting is really for everyone. Try to make these for everyone to let everyone know. I mean, it's it's a total hobby for any age. So let's see. Let's just kind of look at a quick retro assortment. I'm gonna need like a retro aisle at my store. I see five bags this time. Yay! So let, let's just see what I pull here. Add this to my huge store inventory, right? Okay, we're going with old school Mentos. So that's what Mentos back in the day looked like. Pretty simple, minty fresh. Okay, maybe there'll be a, a retro Diet Coke in here, I hope. This one's gonna be, no way, no, it's not, I thought maybe gold. Is this a Kodak uh, film reel canister, a film? Maybe that is so retro. I, I'm even having trouble deciphering what this is. But I'm from the uh, world where I did get projector-fed documentaries back in school. Okay, that's a good one. Planters cheese balls. Wow, an old cheese balls planters container. A big gray squirrel is gonna be all over that one. And another container. A V8, oh, classic V8. Haven't had a V8 in a while, but every once in a while, even though I am like Mr. Anti-Vegetable and all sugar, every once in a while, I actually like a V8. Mini brands always feels like I'm just advertising, doesn't it? And our final thing, it's like a little package up. Oh, ho, 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 yes, a 3M floppy disk. This is like holy grail stuff of fun for uh, toy collecting. It could be like the secret files that G.I. Joe needs to obtain or Transformers needs to protect. That is really cool. I like that quite a bit. Uh, yeah, back in the day, that's how we stored uh, some of our information. Sometimes computers would only work with this installed. I had a computer that you had to have a floppy installed to run. Um, it's crazy back in the day. Cobra Commander has stolen the plans to the construction of the Washington Monument and if he uses those plans it could not be good so G.I. Joe has to come in and save these plans so that's what I love about these so much. What a fine mini brands is just killing it today. So our final ball and thank you Zuru uh, for these great a uh, little crater dinosaur egg rebuilders from Smashers. They are the perfect holder for these. Uh, what do we got? Love that sound. All right. Books! Oh gosh, nothing is more messy than Mini Brands Day, right? So another bookshelf, and that, that's probably my only gripe, is I wish they could have uh, contained the bookshelves to maybe like 50% of, of the spheres. I know that they're thinking if you're just a one-time buyer, you'd probably want a bookshelf and that would enhance your experience and want you to get into it more. I kind of get that. I think that was their approach. But then if you are a collector of book and you only get three books, it's kind of like, oh, I, I kind of want more books right now because I'm loaded up on bookshelves. But I do love bookshelves. Okay. 
What do we have? Oh no, not more reminders of him. I hear this one's kind of spicy, so careful. Um, what do we got in here? Oh, oh, I did not see this one when I was going through the guide. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. That is terrific. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Zuru Books, for throwing this one in. This is... I haven't seen this one, but I've heard so much about it. Or I haven't read this one, but I've heard about it. I, I think we did read or watch uh, Abraham Lincoln Zombie Vampire Hunter or something back in the day. This just is hilarious. I can't believe this is in first season. I thought you would see this in maybe third or fourth series. So that is a great find. There wasn't any illustrations in this one, was there? And there is kind of one right there. Oh gosh, that is funny. That is too funny, what a find. I'm glad I found this one. And once again, I, I wasn't careful about bookmarks. I'll have to go through each and every bag to make sure I picked up all the bookmarks. They are tiny. Final book of the day, I believe. Oh, there's a bookmark. Gotta look for bookmarks. And I think it's another diary too. So another, uh, another? Uh, this is either my second or um, whatever. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. You can tell I'm not interested in the bookmarks as much. So we pulled two diaries of a Wimpy Kid, uh, The Last Straw. So fun there. I didn't, did I check the last one? No, that's right. Um, well, no, this one actually has, you can see the lined print and kind of the more scribblish writing of how these look. Although there should be way more illustrations. So this, maybe now I'm going to go back and say this probably isn't the full book. Um, maybe just excerpts or something like best of pages and then repeated maybe. I, I can't imagine them actually going through every page of book uh, in these, but I don't know that yet. You'll have to verify that in the comments, uh, but there you go. All right, so here's our library from just five mini brands books, Spheres. Pretty good, collected pretty much everything that I would want to see. There's a little bit of everything for someone inside this library. I like how they picked some of the selections. I guess my best pull was the Luxury Dog Man back there and then the Ultra Rare Diary of the Wimpy Kid in green. And one of my favorites was the Rare Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Goosebumps were fun to see and collect and so are the, I, did I say Ronald earlier? Ronald Doll, I always pronounce that so wrong. And then the movie adaptation of Clueless. That is like the most random thing that I can think of and it's hilariously awesome. Plus we went on over to the retro section, which was so much fun. I might have to return, that was great. I've only seen them a few times, so I gotta keep my eye out for more. Oh, and there's a stacked bookshelf. Just simply take off the top layer of one and then you take that and you kind of throw it onto that. And so you could you could essentially just go to the moon. Um, but I just kind of wanted a couple open uh, so I could stack in the books as I want to. So I just built a few so I could stack in the books I have without having too many bookshelves. It would have been fun had they molded those bookshelves using a brown wood plastic, I think. The white stands out. But that is your collection of Mini Brands books. Wow, these were way more fun than I anticipated even. I knew they were going to be popular just because they're just so different. Especially being able to read some of the font inside and see them uh, just build your little miniature library, just like we did with the stores. So, what a fun concept. Hope to see a few more series. Well, there you go with the Mini Brands book collection. So glad to get back into Mini Brands. It's been a while and they've just been pumping out so many interesting things that I kind of missed a few, few things here and there, but the books, books drew me back in because it's just so, so odd and fun to build your own library. What do you think? If you like today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel eye, but squam it, your favorite mini brands book. Don't forget, Squirrel Stampede has like merch, t-shirts, water bottles, plush landry, but no books. Thank you so much again for watching. That's what I have to say about that.